Jojo Gun. Run, run, run. Van Morrison coming up with the album of the week. It's called Versatile. We've got Clem Cattini choosing the final two tracks of his years. And in a moment, Steve Winwood with Valerie. On BBC Radio 2, online, on digital radio, and 88 to 91 FM. The BBC News at 11 o'clock. This is Catherine Cracknell. The chairman of the parole board has apologised unreservedly to victims of the black cab rapist John Warboys after some of them were not told he's to be released from prison. Nick Hardwick said he was very concerned that a fault with the parole system meant some women hadn't been informed. Warboys was convicted of 20 offences but is thought to have attacked more than 100 women in his taxi between 2002 and 2008. The former Solicitor General, Sir Edward Garnier, says the decision to release Warboys would have been carefully considered. It may well be that the Metropolitan Police believe this, that or the other, but you don't convict people on what the police believe. You convict people on, on evidence. He was convicted of a certain number of offences. He was sentenced for those offences and the parole board will have taken into account all sorts of information and they will have reached a rational conclusion. It may be one that other people might disagree with, but that's not the point. A serious case review has found the brutal murder of a two-year-old boy by his stepfather in Wolverhampton could not have been predicted. Gervais McGregor was jailed for life in June after beating Jeremiah Regis and Galger to death in 2016. The boy's mother, Cindy Ann Regis, was also sent to prison for allowing his death. Our correspondent in Wolverhampton, Phil Mackey, says officials were aware of the family. One of the things that I think is quite stark is that there was a multi-agency referral just a few months before his death, but there were no safeguarding concerns according to that, despite complaints from Cindy Ann, who was clearly very much a victim of abuse herself, saying that she was subject to domestic violence, but those particular uh, complaints made by her not really being followed up. A hot air balloon carrying tourists has crashed near the city of Luxor in Egypt. Officials say one person from South Africa has died, 12 other people were injured. Sales of new cars fell for the first time in six years last year. The Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders says the number of cars registered was down by 5.7% compared with 2016, while diesel sales fell by almost a fifth following concerns about pollution. The Conservative Mayor of the West Midlands...